Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Dishonored 2 where we are still in the Royal Conservatory but I have already finished my main task. I neutralized Brianna Ashworth. I didn't exactly eliminate her. She's still alive but she is no longer a witch so I guess she's not that much of a threat anymore. But yeah, apparently she turned this place into her private little coven and lots of witches lived here for a while and there still might be more witches around so I gotta be careful. Anyway, I still have some stuff to do. I need to search her office apparently. And yeah, once I'm out of here I need to deliver the Roseborough prototype. I have no idea what it does but it must be valuable if he wants it so badly. And since I have no idea what to do with it, I may as well give it to him and get some money out of it. Anyway, um, before I move on, I would like to collect the remaining bone charms and runes. For example, we got one over here. So, let's see. Oh, the door is blocked. Well, that's a pity. Is there any other way to get inside here? Well, I mean, there's a window. There's a window too. I'm just not sure if this is big enough for me to fit through. Oh yeah, it is. Well, in that case, getting inside here is not so difficult. So, there we go. Bone charm. Spiritual sacrifice. What? does that do? Killing blood flies or rats restores mana. Hmm. That's not entirely stupid I suppose. But I'm not sure if I really need it. Maybe I will actually get the um, upgrade for more bone charms. I feel that I have at least a few bone charms that might be useful on occasion. <laughs> Anyway, what else do we got here? Conservatory closure extended. Yeah, we've seen this before. Archive key. Okay. A reflection on my journey to the Pandisian continent. Okay, this is just another chapter of Sokolov's book. Okay, um, guess that's everything in here. And oh, I see. This is the reason the door was blocked. Um. Well, nobody heard me shattering the glass, so I think I will be fine if I shatter this. Now, let's uh, keep on looking. We have some stuff going on down here as well. And I'm not sure if... Yeah, we do have a ruin down here too. So I definitely want to grab this. Stupid blood flies. I'm just going to kill you all. Um, it doesn't seem to be here. <laughs> what is this? That is one derpy looking crocodile. Ah. Uh, anyway, is anything of the stuff lying around here useful to me? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so can I get to wherever that rune is? I wonder where all these blood flies are coming from. I mean, there must be a nest somewhere, right? I mean, I guess this is one, but it's... Oh, well, there we go. So, again, that doesn't seem to be any persons around, so I guess I can just jump right in and destroy the nest. Okay. Are there any more? Oh, there, there's another one. I was wondering why the blood flies still were attacking me. Alright. 
Let's kill every single one of them. Oh! There's witches here, but they're unconscious. Huh. That is unusual because, I mean, you sometimes find bodies lying around, but they are usually always dead. The only unconscious bodies that I find are people that I've taken out. So maybe when I um, cut off Brianna Ashworth from the void, did it like... Um, eliminate or neutralize all the witches in this place too because like I said I usually don't find unconscious bodies that aren't like my own doing so that is rather unusual but okay um, I guess I can just stay here they obviously have been fine so far a wolfhound what have you been doing with a wolfhound? Also, look at this giant turtle. That is one massive turtle. Anyway, um, I want to get inside here. Oh, I do have the key. Right, it's probably the key that I just found. Reminder, the key to the archive is in the quartermaster office. Okay. Oh, I just got a mission clue. Okay, well, <laughs> that's exactly what I just read. Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. Okay. Got an audio graph over here. But let me grab that rune first and... Well, I guess I may actually want to fill up that tiny bit of health and now we can listen to this over here. After Delilah fell to the assassin down, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton, three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. Okay. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. Okay, well, I mean, this confirms that Delilah is immortal. It doesn't really tell me if there is any way to circumvent that, right? Um, okay, well, also um, my quest just updated, so apparently by going here I kind of shortcut it a little bit because I don't have to go to her office anymore. However, I still want to go to her office and see what I can find in that place. Also, I'm seeing a red tunnel over here. I wonder where this leads. And since I have this new skill... I can actually try this out. Oh boy, this is this is quite a maze. Um okay, I'm basically just back outside again. I see. Anyway, I think um saw something else here. Yep, there's something inside here. Um, I can probably just transport up here. Yes, I can. So, what do we got here? A reflection on my journey to the Pantheon continent. <laughs> and another chapter. And a painting. Her heart I bathed in poison. Okay, you do you. <laughs> uh, these paintings and their wacky titles. Okay, uh, looks like I'm done here. I can't go through here. But like I said, I do want to go back to her office. 
I actually think there might be runes inside her office as well. So, um, that's where I came from, right? Let's see what we can find over here. And yeah, now that I think about it, ever since I took out uh, Brianna, I haven't seen any witches. So, maybe taking her out uh, took out all the witches too. Um, why is this guy here? Why am I even questioning this? There's dead people everywhere. Oh, we got an elevator here. Basement, main hall, mezzanine, upper level. Um, yeah, I think I've actually seen the elevator before, but only like quick glance at it. Okay, now I'm back in the main exhibit hall or whatever you want to call this. So, um, I know there's still some stuff in here. Yep, we got a rune and a black bone charm. The rune is further away, so I guess I will pick up that bone charm first. And that one actually might be in her office. Because the office was in that general direction. She's still here, and apparently very sad. But you certainly brought this upon yourself. I think I've seen this before. Um, okay, let's go up here. Also, there's some stuff in these, um, display cases apparently so I guess I would have to destroy it but like I said I haven't really seen any people in here ever since ever since I took down Brianna so I hope I'm not causing any attention to myself if I destroy these no seem to be fine um, okay, it's another one of Anton Sokolov's books. Silver Sextant. Oh, it's valuable. Um, I think there's another one over here. Is there actually anything inside that I need? No, this doesn't really have anything of interest. Okay, um... I guess that would be it. I mean, there's a lot more display cases all over this place. <laughs> so it might actually be useful to destroy all of them. <laughs> I'm going to rob the museum before I leave this place. Um, oh, is this, is this a painting? It is. It's defaced, but... It's a painting. What would you and father advise if you were both here? <sighs> Sometimes I dream we're all together again. <laughs> but apparently it's not a painting that I can take with me. I can just look at it. Interesting. Okay, this might be her office. Ooh! <laughs> I guess that's Delilah, huh? I can talk to her. Do I want to do this? Is this wise? I mean, I would draw attention to myself. But I mean, Corvo has used the statue to talk to Delilah before in the first game. And it's not like she could actually come to him. So she was still somewhere else and it's just a way to communicate. So um, I guess I will give it a try. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. Oh dear. Little Black Sparrow, free from your cage at <laughs> last. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't <laughs> even know what you've done! 
A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. Delilah, I will take apart everything you've built until I have what's mine. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, child. I'm not only going to restore things to the way they were, I'm going to make them better. Okay. Well, what a great friend you are. Because Brianna is no longer a witch, you're not going to talk to her anymore. That's nice. Um, okay, this is not actually a note I can pick up. So, apparently talking to her was essentially harmless and quite enlightening, actually. So, let's look around this place a bit. Proposal from Curator Hayden to Brianna Ashworth, Curator of the Royal Conservatory. Although we have never met, we share occupations. Overseeing cultural artifacts and historical oddities, you and Sir Conus and me and Morley. I have heard much about you and I have long admired the stories regarding your exhibits. To the matter at hand, I propose an artistic exchange. At the Morley Gallery of History and Sculpture, we have works by many of the greats, including Anton Sokolov himself. Additionally, we have many unearthed items of his much unusual quality, which never fail to amuse and bewilder the public. But we would like to broaden, broaden our coverage. To that end, would you be interested in an exchange? I am particularly eager to get my hands on some of your own works and your conservatory's collection, Mechanized Fauna. In high hopes, Finlay Hayden, curator, Morley Gallery of History and Sculpture. I wonder if she took him up on that offer. Done straightening up. Mistress Brianna, like you asked, I stored your audiograph recordings in the archive down there in the basement. Okay, that's probably the hint we were supposed to find in the office and then go to the basement. I see. And I tied it up around the oraculum just as you asked. Some of the others were talking about the old lenses you took out of that oraculum device after the accident, saying they were going to bury the, them lenses forever at the bottom of the ocean. Well, that didn't sound right to me, so I just stored them in the effigies workshop in case you find them some use. All my other ch ch chores are done, so I'll go prepare your lash sizzle tea. I'm grateful for the second chance you've given me. I'm sure over time I'll feel Delilah's presence and learn the magic, like my coven sisters. Please don't cast me out. I'll make you and Empress Delilah proud, I promise, Karina. <laughs> Actually, you basically doomed her because you put uh, the lenses in the workshop where I could find them. Little did she know. Unfinished letter to Delilah. Delilah, when we can't talk, I write. There are things only you will understand. Daily I feel my connection to the void growing. And through me your powers calls out to those who would join our coven. New faces, new voices. Our bond is stronger than it was at Brickmore, yet you feel so far away. If we were together I could say more. As is, as it is as if I can see beyond the air into another time or place. You have parted a curtain I never know knew was there. Oh, Delilah, strange and beautiful whispers are carried on the breeze. I am forever grateful of being your instrument. Well, not anymore, I'm afraid. And I guess that's everything in here. And I feel I'm actually pretty safe here. I don't have to sneak around all the time. I haven't seen any witches in a long time. So I'm going to assume... They all have left when Brianna got neutralized. My fires burn within Brianna's marrow. <laughs> Again, interesting title. Okay, the bone charm is very close. So I feel I should be able to find it quickly. Got another thing in here. Broken whalebone sword not really worth anything. But I guess I'll take it. Okay, there we go. Bone charm. 
Lucky gem. What does it do? Enemy pistols have a better chance of misfiring. Hmm, no. Don't need it. Don't need it. Black bone charm notes. Um, I think I can read this one off camera. It's more like background information than really necessary at the moment. Okay, I've seen this. Right, this is a workshop. I collected the lenses from here, but then I left without actually exploring. Uh, yes, I have seen this one. Oh, sleep darts. And a lot of raw whale bones, which I believe are used for crafting, so... Yeah, at some point I would like to look into that. My effigies to the of the Oracular Sisters. Again, I will read this off camera. Um Yes, this is no, I don't want to pick this up. I wanted to pick up this. I have seen this, I believe. Oh, we got another audiograph over here. I meant nothing to my fine family. Beyond an advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no returning to my cage. Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days. Okay, well, we've heard this before, not in her own words, but from the outsider. Okay, um, I guess I pretty thoroughly looted this place. Um, I think there was one more... Yeah, there's one more rune. Um... And it seems to be... Outside. Oh. Where the hell am I now? Oh, is this the big turtle we saw earlier? No, no, this is not... I mean, it's the same, but um, not the same statue. It's just one that looks exactly like it, I believe. <laughs> anyway, let's... Um, Pick up that rune over here. Well, um, someone was having a lot of fun here. Look at all these graves. Little place for a picnic, huh? Alright, give me that rune. So, um,. Yeah, I guess I can just make my escape now. Let's have one last check. Well, I have picked up all the runes and bone charms. I probably could stay even longer and look at every little, you know, corner of this place and maybe I find a little bit more loot or some more notes or whatever. But honestly, I think I have stayed long enough so let's go back to well first of all the shopkeeper um now it suggests that i leave via the delivery entrance but wouldn't it be better if i just uh, leave the same way that i came and that worked out pretty well the problem is i don't exactly know where i am at the moment Um, okay, let's, let's try to get down here, and first of all we need to get out of the building and then we can decide what to do next, I suppose. Um, I 
just want to like drop down to this ledge over here. Is this possible somehow? Uh, well, might take some damage here. No, it actually actually worked fine. Okay, here we are. Okay, shopkeeper Megan Foster. Um, yeah, I need to I need to go back here if I want to use the same way that I used to get in. And at the very least, it will get me over the fence. And I mean, there's a wall of light here, so I can't just walk out of here. However, um. I might have a problem later because the only way inside that building over here was via the door on on the ground and uh, don't really want to go that way again especially since I'm not entirely sure if I can make it onto the lamppost from here so yeah this may actually not be the best way Oh, well, I can actually land on this one. So disfigured. Blood flying nests all around. Yeah, but this is slightly too far away to get to the next lamppost. This is really tragic. Um Yeah, maybe this is not the best way to do this. I don't know, how many guards do we have down here? I see one, two... I know there's one over here. So... Tranquilizing the guards may actually be... another thing that I would like to do. Or finding any other way out of here. Ah, uh, yeah, this is... Oh! Didn't intend to do that. Huh. Oh, something stinks around here. I Not have no idea what's the best up. way. Maybe I will actually um, go to the far side of the conservatory. Because it's a little bit closer to, you know, where I have to go. So I don't have to go past all these guards down here. Just need to find a way past the wall of light. But how hard can it be? Might be able to just teleport over it. Over the fence, that is. Okay, let's see. Um. Honestly, I don't know what happens if, if I do this. Where do I land? Will people notice that? <sighs> yeah, this is a lot more difficult than I thought. Um, what about this over here? Okay, um, this is actually a way out, um, but I would prefer not to be down here. Can I get onto anything that is a bit higher? Like anything. Oh, 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 that was close. That was a little bit too close. <laughs> um. Well, I'm going to put you down here. So, I see another guard over there. Um, I don't know. I will try to get onto this tower again because I'm pretty sure I can make an escape once I'm up here. Let's not wait for anyone to see me. Okay. I'm getting good and drunk after this. This isn't too bad because um I have been here before. Um 
worst but assignment uh, ever. Where exactly Nothing ever happens. did I come from when I was here the last time? I think one of the balconies over here. Damn it. I need to pay. So let's see. Can I? Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually on on the lamppost. But I think this is this is a way to do it because um, I have been to all these places before, so I should be able to just leave the same way again. And I think I sort of remember this place. Yeah, this is where we saw the guard and her girlfriend. So the rest should be easy going now. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Famous last words. Um, right, the shopkeeper. That's going to be my first destination. Um, but... <laughs> How do I get there? How did I get here? I think I, I came from over here? Can I read? Of course I can read. Yeah, I think I may may have been here and I, I tried to get over here and it didn't work. <laughs> but I certainly haven't been here because there's loot for me to pick up. Okay. But we're getting close. Let's just make sure that no new people have appeared here. Okay, but um, I think if I go down here now, I will be able to go through the window and then to the shop. Right. Yep, they are still unconscious, not eaten by any rats. So, um, I Come brought in, you. My friend, always a delight to see you. I brought you your prototype. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Mm -hmm. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not delay. <laughs> I expect you'll be interested in payment. Indeed. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. Nice. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Indeed. That is quite a fair deal. <sighs> what a pleasant surprise to see you again. Okay, so what do we got here? Ancient Hole Bolt. Blinds enemy causes witches to flee. Deep Hole Bolt. Blinds enemies causes wolfhounds to flee. Impact Grenades. Impact Grenades explode on contact with living targets. Okay, so... Got some useful blueprints. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Let's see, do I want to use any of them? I don't need the hardened balls. I don't really need those. Um, uh. causes witches to flee. I don't know, that actually seems pretty useful. Once installed, the masterwork upgrade cannot be removed. If you install ancient hole bolt, you won't be able to install deep hole bolt later. Continue. Oh, so I have to pick one of them. Um, I haven't seen any wolfhounds so far except for the dead one. I feel that witches are a bigger problem and not dogs. But then again, I remember the, the dogs district from... district is so quiet since the conservatory was closed. ...the previous game, and they were kind of a problem in, in that game, so I'm not sure if I want that or the hounds. Maybe I will make my decision later. Um, again, I don't really need any of those. I think I'm actually going to take the additional bone I'm charm. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. I mean, look at the money I have. 
he must have given me quite a bit, so let's just completely upgrade it. <coughs> um, I don't need the impact grenade. And at the moment I don't need this either. But I will look at your gear. Okay, let me no need to wrap fill up that. You, I suppose. And everything else is still at maximum. Yep, everything else is still at maximum. Okay, well, um, thank you for your business. It was a pleasure to serve you. It was a pleasure doing business with you indeed. Oh, um, oh, is this, oh, this is the stuff that he gave me. I didn't even pick it up so far. Welcome back. Please, take your time. Piercing insert. Bolts can pierce multiple enemies, improved damage. Long distance lover. When using the spyglass, a crossbow has perfect aim even when you chain shots. Improved damage. Again, I'm not sure if this even works for sleep darts, so... I don't know. Bloodfly. Let's see. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Yes, I know. Um... Oh, I need to upgrade the crossbow first and then I can get the masterwork. I see. Okay, Please in that case, never visit mind. Visit again soon. All right, well, um, I guess we are ready I to leave. I look forward to the day when I can reopen my gallery. <laughs> Good luck with that, I suppose. So yeah, um, Megan is pretty close, so I think we can make it within this um, episode. Um, I don't know, can I go along this little cliff here? Seems to be faster. And there we go. I am back. So it's done. It's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm mm -hmm. not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? <laughs> what I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. <laughs> Thank you for opening up. If only a little. Yeah. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Like I mentioned before, I... Are you ready to leave now? As I mentioned a few episodes ago, I kind of have a theory about her because when I met her for the very first time, my initial thought was that it's Billy, the um, assassin from the Big More Witches DLC who worked for Delilah because, I mean, she kind of looks like her, right? But then I wasn't so sure anymore um, and we really only saw Billy very shortly at the end of the DLC, so I wasn't entirely sure. But then I heard the heart talking about her and after all that the heart told me, I am reasonably certain again that this is actually Billy. I believe I even called her Billy at some point in the game because that was my initial thought when I met her. But yeah, I think um, I am ready to leave, so let's go. Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Circonos. And Delilah. Indeed. So, let's have a look at our summaries. No one died, so no one got eaten by rats when I wasn't looking. I did get detected. I'm not sure about the detected bodies, but I haven't really hidden them all that well, so I'm not surprised. I'm still pretty good on my stealthiness, so I'm not too unhappy with this result. 
I got all the runes. I got the outsider shrine. I missed two bone charms. What? How? I could have sworn that I found all of them. I don't understand where these bone charms were. I haven't seen any. Well, I guess I missed two of them. And with my luck, one of them was the strong arms bone charm. But okay, I got the paintings, I got the blueprints. Shrewd negotiations, got the best prize for the Roseboro prototype. Parley with Delilah, talk with Delilah Cordwin after eliminating Brianna Ashworth, her right hand within the coven. Witch no more, forever severed Brianna Ashworth's link to Delilah's magic. Spying overseers found that outpost, the found the outpost that Vice Overseer Byrne was using to spy on Brianna Ashworth. Did I? I guess it was the one where we found um, the first piece of information. Okay, well, overall I think um, good mission. I'm just confused about the two bone charms that I missed. So, we're back on the Dreadful Whale. Meet with Anton Sokolov to discuss your next steps before taking the skiff to the Dust District. For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. Okay, now this is going to be our next target. And yes, this is a name we have seen before. Anyway, looks like we are back on the ship and this is apparently the real ship and not just another void vision. So yeah, I guess this is a perfect time to end this episode and in the next one we will go and uh, talk to Sokolov and I guess we will start our next mission. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.